Okay, what I want to do is just show you um, how I trace a function in Jess. So we're going to start out, this is kind of a pretend version of our Jess window. Imagine I have this function we wrote in class and um, I've already hit load program. So you can, you can imagine that this is already loaded into Jess and saved. Um, and I already have ready my command area scrap paper, my fancy piece of command area scrap paper ready to do stuff. So let's suppose that I type age gets three. Well, I look in the command area. There is no box called age. So evaluate the right hand side. It's three, put it in the left. I do that. Okay. Easy. That's from the old stuff. Now, so that's done. Now suppose that I type compute cube two. All right. Whenever I call a function, the first thing that I do is I make some not quite so high quality scrap paper for it because we're going to get rid of it pretty quickly. I put the name of the function at the top of my scrap paper. And then I very quickly, the first thing I do is I look at the, at the arguments to my function, um, the stuff in the parentheses, and I say, what boxes do I need? I need a box called num. So there's my box called num. Right now, I don't know whether what type num is going to be and what's in num. Okay. So now I go down and I look at the function call down in the um, command area and I see that I said compute cube with two. So that means that into num we're going to put a two and that's an integer. And now we're ready to run our function. So our function says answer gets num times num times num. Evaluate the right hand side, put the answer in the left hand side. So num times num times num. What's num? Well, now we're only looking at this piece of paper. Num is two. So we say two times two times two, that's eight. Where am I going to put it into answer? There's no answer on the scrap paper. So I'm going to make a new box called answer, put eight into it. And the next line of code says print answer. So now I'm going to do that and eight appears on the screen, right? And now we're done running the compute cube function. You can't see here, but there's no more, no more code under that. So we're done. We see the out dent. Um, and so I'm going to crumple up this compute cube paper and just throw it out, recycle it, get rid of it. Um, for drawing purposes, I'm just going to put a big X over it. All right. So that is done. We're ready for our next command. Okay. So we come down here. Suppose the next thing that I type is print answer. Well, the compute cube um, piece of scrap paper is gone. It doesn't exist anymore. We're back to using the command area scrap paper because of course we're doing stuff in the command area. We look, there's nothing in here called answer. So the computer is going to give us some kind of error and it gives us a much longer error message, but I'm trying to make this video uh, have everything fit. So that's what you're going to see. All right, done. We're ready for the next line of code. Um, so now suppose I type answer gets 42. Well, we're back to our same old, same old. I look on my command area, evaluate the right hand side, put it in the left. 42 goes into answer. I look over here. I don't have a box called answer. So I make one and put 42 in it. Great. That's done. Now suppose I say print answer. Good enough. It's going to print 42. Fine. Now suppose I say compute cube based on age. All right, let's do everything again. As soon as we say compute cube, we make a new piece of scrap paper. We got to put the name of the function up at the top of the scrap paper. Great. We now look at the function definition line and we say what's in the parentheses, what's our box that we get um, to start out with. It's called num. So we're going to put a box for num in here. All right. Now that we've got that box, we've got to figure out what to put in it. Well, we go back to the command where we called it and it says put age in it and that's age from the command window. So we look around here. Oh yeah, it's three. So we're going to put a three into this box. Okay, great. Now we start running the function. First line is an assignment statement. Answer gets num times num times num. All right, evaluate the right hand side, put it in the left. 3 times 3 times 3, right? That's 27. Put it into answer. We're looking in here now. Is there a box called answer? Nope. So we make one and put 27 in it. Print answer. Okay. Answer is 27. We print 27. Terrific. We're done the function. 
We crumple this up, cross it out, get rid of it. It's gone. Okay. And now we're ready to run another piece of code. Okay, another command. The next command we get is print answer. Well, we're back in the command window, so we look in here and we say, do we have a value for answer? You bet, it's 42. So we put 42. And that's this example.